Hi, I'm Charlie, and this is my co-director and filmmaker brother, Adam. We're putting together a docudrama web series about real-life pride investigations. We want to find out what they really do, what happens, and send out a job and put it on the net. Yeah, we found a, a real private investigations company that's willing to work with us and let us into their secret world. So, yeah, we really hope that you enjoy our uh, no-budget guerrilla-style web series. Mom, can you get Sheila out of here? She's ruining our very important informative web series. Okay, it's just a test. We're just testing here. Don't worry about it. Sheila, let your brothers do their little show thing. It's not little. It's an epic cinematic journey we're going on. My brother Charlie. Nice to meet you. You look different than you said on the phone. Yeah, tattoos don't affect my speech. Yeah. So uh, we were thinking that we'd like to uh, meet everyone, get a feel for your world, and then just start filming right away if that's cool. Okay, sure. Whenever you're ready. Hi, I'm Alex Mills. This, I own this company of somewhat professional misfit PIs. Yeah. Okay, just take a breath, whatever. I don't know. Good. Okay. The reason I agreed to do this was because the money that was offered will pay the bills for us for a while. I, that's probably not a good idea. So. All right. Hi. Okay. Um, we're a small company of four PIs, one security guard, a bounty hunter, um, and a secretary. And a token homeless guy. Hey, there's been a crime. Hey, well, someone stole my arm. Bill, grab a donut and get out of here. Thanks. <laughs> no one cares. They hung up. Of course they hung up. It's not no one cares. It's when no one cares, we do, okay? Our secretary is Ronnie Mills, my aunt. She used to be the secretary for... She used to be the secretary for IBM, the president of IBM, until she was... Until she was downsized. She doesn't really care what goes on around here. Um, but she's family and, you know, we all stick together. Ronnie, can you get the phone, please? Like, come on! Just, can you just hold on? Hi, the investigation mill. Alex Mill speaking. Oh, hi, yeah, hi, Miss Johnson, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll make sure that she's on her way. She should be there, just right around the corner. Jesse, where are you? Wh Come on, you're supposed to be there over an hour ago. Oh, our other PIs are Jesse. I knew it. Jesse is a, a specialist at finding cheating spouses. She works for uh, a company, she does this moonlighting gig as a sexy decoy and works for a company called Find My Cheating Husband. Loser Husband, I think is what it is. Yeah, Finding My Cheating Loser Husband. Um, all PIs have a couple of jobs, moonlighting jobs and stuff like that. I knew I'd catch a cheating ass. <laughs> Nathan Rockefeller. We call him Rocket. I love you, Johnny. How are ya? How are ya? It's cold one up there. He's supposedly a direct descendant from the famous Rockefellers, you know. The Illuminati. Yeah. Um, I don't I'm not really sure how he gets the job done. He's uh, he's fantastic. Amazing results. He's the best PI I know, definitely is. Uh, but, you know, he's been in trouble with the law. Not right now or anything. He's, he's pretty good, but, yeah. He's, he's, definitely, he's definitely one of my best PIs. Then there's Carrie. Carrie's the surveillance genius. Um, pretty amazing. Uh, sometimes you don't even know he's there.
it's a little creepy at times, but um, you know, it gets the job done, and that's really all I can ask for. Doug is our bounty hunter. I get the nails that you needed from the hardware store. We don't really need a bounty hunter around here. So we try to keep him busy with uh, stuff to do around the office. Uh, he also plays in a metal band on the weekends at a place called The Loose Kitten. Oh yes, and of course we have a security guard, um, that would be Jackson. sure how secure things are when Jackson is around, but we haven't had a living person complain yet. So. Sorry, can you tell me about uh, a real case? Let me think. Okay. Alright, I got one for you. I've asked you here today because I want you to follow my daughter. And because I kind of owe your company a service. I suspect she's fallen in with the wrong crowd. Kind of like a papa. I run for office in November, and as you can imagine, the last thing I need is demons in my closet. But you can't put the most stuff in that closet. Okay. We can put together a team of really professional PIs, surveillance gear, and uh, all the bells and whistles. We'll follow you to the subject of your daughter and get you all the information that you need on her without her even knowing that we're there. That's all I can think. Oh, Put it on her. Hey, Jackson. Ah! <laughs> and you're encouraging him. Oh, that is a... I'm going to save that one later. This is a case we've got to be extremely professional on. It's very important. Politician Brian Coburn wants us to watch his daughter. Okay? For one night, I'm just giving you all the information on Alicia Coburn. This is going to pay our rent for a long time, this case. What kind of drugs is she doing? I never said she was doing drugs, Rocket. If she's anything like her father, you know she's doing a whole lot more than drugs. Yes. Just stick to the facts here. So, Mr. Cockburn has a daughter. And she's beautiful. <laughs> Seriously, guys? Jackson, you're not even involved in this. And Doug, really? Oh, 
Hello, the investigation mill. We can get you any information you need on your drug addicted daughter. I'm turning over a new leaf. This is Alicia Coburn's favorite nightclub. She comes here every weekend. We're gonna set things up, put them in play, and wait for her. Roger, Dodger. The nightmare has landed. Over. What does that mean? What is he doing here? Do any one of you professionals know what he's doing here? Any one of you? somebody, anyone, it doesn't even matter at this point. There's a special of tequila in here. Hey. Hey, hey. I forgot how awesome my voice sounds over these little microphones. Jesse, can you get in there? Right on, little mama. Jesse's all over it. <laughs> Well played. Well played. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Indeed. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Great job on this. You're really fine. appreciate it. Take good care now. That was a pretty weird case. My politician never did get elected again, but for like totally different reasons. He was caught shoplifting like cans of cream corn. In some big supermarket in an aisle and he was trying to shave his legs with the cream corn. I don't know, pretty weird. They say that um, like alcohol or some sort of narcotic that only Rocket could pronounce was involved. I'm okay. Is he okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. I'm okay. you everything. Who cares? Okay, uh, start filming, get what you need.
Film who you want, make yourself at home. Another asshole almost got away with the most serious of crime, adultery. The union between a man and a woman is sacred and it's wasted on dirtbag men. Okay then. Does anyone know where Rocket is? No. Okay, Doug, you're going to 679 Cottonwood Drive to pick up a ladder. Across the street and down the block from the bees. 679. What? You know, the devil. 666. Just go get a ladder. Go get a ladder, Doug. Just go get the ladder. Fancy bikes with those outside. Those are ours. Oh, that lock was a little flimsy. Somebody might just have bolt cutters, and then you can say goodbye to your precious latest trend, BC Glet. <laughs> Are you serious, man? Did you really lose them? Like, how did you do that? You're the fastest driver I know. Like, what happened? It was kind of hard with the police chasing me. And then my ex-girlfriend called and I just couldn't concentrate. my phone. That's okay. This shit happens. Do you think you guys could do that again? I think the camera was in the wrong setting. Rocket. Rocket, can you take these guys somewhere? guy we've been watching on and off for about a year now got a wife and kid at home swanky businessman but every Wednesday at 9 30 or uh, in the PI world 2100 hours and 30 hundred half hours he shows up at his house dresses up in a bunny suit and gets spanked. So this is an ongoing case? Case? No, he's a PI. Also, we just do this for fun. We got bets on how long he could do this for or when he'll change his costume to, I don't know, a fucking elephant suit and blow himself. Or when his wife will catch on. He's pretty sick, huh? Yeah, it's a pretty sick world, my friends. Evening, fellas. Is this your car? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> First day of our documentary. 
Today was a uh, learning experience. We were introduced to some interesting scenarios. Dude, that move's gonna totally destroy. Oh, okay. Oh, you moved the king to the bottom. Okay, okay. You're good. We're starting to learn a little bit about the business. <clears throat> I think we'll be able to get into the minds of these professionals. Today was whacked. I got pickpocketed by a man with one arm. <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible. And I lost my underwear, but I don't remember taking my pants off. I'm not sure what happened to my bike either. Tired and I don't know why my mouth tastes like. I think it'll be a very uh, interesting and uh, interesting, riveting, action packed. Seriously? That's your move? Guerrilla style docu-drama episodic web series. Hello, I'm Brian Coburn. And I'd like to count on your vote this fall for me, Brian Coburn. So this November, when you go to the poll station, pick up your pencil, look at that little piece of paper, and check the right box. Brian Coburn, just check my box. What is Brian Coburn like? Well, he enjoys a fine wine, delicious sandwich, and the occasional sausage. Can you imagine being a bird? Me neither. Brian Coburn. <laughs>